Dear colleagues, approximately 65 percent of patients with primary skin melanoma, these are patients with clinically localized forms of disease without clinical manifestations of the lesions when there is only primary lesion at place. So the first sign of progression of the disease in 55 percent is a regional relapse or lymph nodes. Here you see the date of one of the German studies. Here you see that regional relapses account for 50 percent of the first signs of progression. The problem is that survival in regional relapse drastically goes down. According to one of the respected studies in melanoma, we can say that it's only 9% within five years versus 86% of patients without regional relapses. The problem is so serious that previously it was solved by a routine a prophylactic lymphadenectomy. However, this surgery is followed by chronic edema of the limbs, and then chronic pain seem to say nothing about partial loss of sensitivity, psychological discomfort, and in 75% of patients uh, that have no relation to regional metastasis because there are no metastasis. That's why there always is a choice what to do, whether to achieve regional control of the disease or avoid unnecessary complications after treatment. Adding data of several studies that showed that prophylactic lymphadenectomy does not improve survival, as well as economic visibility, we receive the tactics of treatment in clinically localized skin melanoma, uh, excision, uh, follow-up. In these cases, we can ask a question, what can biopsy of sentinel nodes give? Why do we need biopsy of sentinel nodes? This is finding the true status of regional lymph node. Uh, this is cellular level. Condition of regional lymph nodes is a powerful prognostic factor. A regional uh, relapses uh, is an indicator from transfer for localized to metastatic phase, which results in changing prognosis, requires uh, expansion of the volume of surgery and adjuvant uh, therapy, and the prophylaxis of regional relapses per se. What is sentinel lymph node? Using the example of axillary and groin lymph collectors, so first, second, and third, and uh, thoracic uh, duct, we see what lymph node is. Lymphatic system has uh, some specific features, uh, hierarchy of the pyramid, a lymph node, so one order, uh, are not collateral between themselves the same way as uh, non-organic lymph vessels consist of lymph and geomes cannot intersect and uh, have creating anastomosis. Uh, each lymph node utilizes 85 percent of the volume of the content coming of incoming lymph. Uh, the first lymph uh, uh, first level, these are the organs of immune surveillance over the area of barrier tissues, that is skin and uh, mucus, uh, and lymph is the means of providing uh, information to lymph nodes. So introducing an indicator to some part of the body, we will quickly find that lymph node that is responsible for this part of the skin. It can be in another part, and here we can and make a definition of the sentinel node. Sentinel node in relation to the tumor is a lymphatic node to the first order, uh, which has immune supervision over the part of the skin or mucosa where there is a tumor. In practice, it looks as follows. Peritumoral, uh, here is the tracer, and we find sentinel node and make a biopsy. Melanoma uh, of the skin of femur, you see the area with the insertion of tracer, the inf, uh, lymph node biopsy, and we see this sentinel node. Another example is melanoma of the skin of lumbar area, excised with laser, 
After introduction of Tracer, we see two independent lymph vessels ending in two lymph nodes um, in the right axillary zone and biopsy and studies after operation. We see that sentinel lymph node can be not in the place where we thought, for example, skin melanoma of left lumbar area and lymph outflow uh, are the indicating to the right axillary zone as well as ulna, uh, subpatella, uh, uh, biopsy of the lymph node. On the planar lymph scintigraphy, we see that lymph node is situated in the left axillary zone. However, on the lateral scan, we see that it is located in a different place. It helps to uh, find uh, uh, that it is in the fat tissue or right spatula area. And see, here we see its biopsy and quite a trivial situation. Melanoma of the skin of left uh, um, uh, but we see how high they are over that uh, no prophylactic lymphadenectomy we will uh, catch uh, this note into the volume of surgery effect in six months and six years after follow-up then special difficulties for biopsy of lymph nodes are head and neck, very close uh, location of the lesion, uh, complexity of lymph collectors, and without a single proton, uh, it is impossible. And uh, of course, uh, we see that lymph node is located in a supraclavicular area. On this slide, you see the tumor and cutting and biopsy of the limb uh, of the sentinel node, melanoma facial um, uh, skin without uh, a KT and single photon emission. But we cannot do without here. You see the uh, lymph node and uh, gamma detector um, control. The method can be used with the absence of tumor. So when the tumor was incised somewhere, excised somewhere before, here we see the trace and the arrangement of lymph nodes. We perform biopsy. And the woman who, uh, were, uh, and with the, they removed uh, um, uh, melanoma. Uh, here is subclavian axillary node and the dark axillary node with morphological study. They saw melanoma metastasis and one metastasis uh, with the following lymphadenectomy. And in this group of the frequency of lesions is with every fourth patient. These are metastases. You see how small they are, how strong the uh, resolution of the method. Several dozens of cells can be identified uh, with the lesions. So here, this slide shows that there is a dependence from the thickness invasion of the tumor, the uh, presence of ulcers, the lesser lymphoid infiltration, the less immune system reacts, and the higher the frequency of the lesion. And here, uh, what takes place with regular tactics of excision and follow 20% of relapses. This is prophylactic adenectomy. Only in 11% of cases we excise those lymph nodes that are uh, exposed. All other uh, manifest themselves with relapses. This is because another collector for excision is chosen. This is a group of biopsies of sentinel nodes. You see that 21% is removed and only in 3% of cases the relapses in negative uh, sentinel nodes are related to specific melanoma and transitory metastasis and other specific features. Here you see survival rate. This is a group of biopsy of sentinel nodes, prophylactic, lymphadenectomy, excision, and follow-up. And the groups are comparable in stages without statistically significant differences um, in T2, T2, uh, T4. Statistically significant differences in survival in biopsy of sentinel node group. And conclusion, uh, it's a highly efficacious method recommended to all patients with localized uh, skin melanoma uh, with uh, thicker than two millimeters. It has to be mandatory. Can be performed using domestic uh, traces and uh, equipment, and um, it can be efficacious um, after excision of the primary tumor. Thank you. Thank you. Ten minutes.